Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about exponents and how to use the basic properties of exponent to simplify the expression. So, let's begin with the exponent. So, what do we mean by exponent? Exponent is nothing but it is a way to express the repeated multiplication. Okay, so what do we mean by that? So, if I say 5 power 2. So, it means 5, this number 5 is multiplied how many times? 2 times. So, 5 multiply 5 and 5 multiply 5 is 25. Similarly, if I say 2 power 4. So, what does it mean? It means the number 2 is multiplied 4 times. So, it is 2 multiply 2, multiply 2, multiply 2. So, how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4. And how, what it becomes? 16. Correct. So, this is how we express the exponents. But, if we want to express it in a generalized form, we say a power n. a power n. It means a is multiplied n times. So, this is how many in number? n times. Okay. So, here we call a as base and n as exponent. Okay. So, in this case, the base is 5 and exponent is 2. So, you can say it's exponent or power. Okay. So, in this second example, the base is, yes, it's 2. This is base and the power is 4. Power or you may say exponent. Okay. So, now let's see what are the basic properties of exponents that we can use to simplify the expressions. So, these are four basic rules of exponents with these two rules as a special cases. So, what the first rule says? It says that the product of powers. How do we simplify the product of powers? So, if you look at the first one, a power m dot a power n. So, you can see that the base is same and these two terms are multiplied. So, what happened here? When base is same, you can add the power. It is m and n. So, we can write it as m plus n. So, dot means multiplication. It means the product. So, sometimes they may write a power m multiply a power n. Or sometimes they simply write it as a power m, a power n. So, it's understood that there is multiplication sign in between. So, in this case, what we will do, we take the powers because base is same. So, we write the same base and since it's multiplication, we add the powers. Okay. Moving on to second rule. Quotient of powers. Quotient means division. Okay. So, if we have a power m divide a power n, again the base is same. So, how do we simplify it? We write it as a to the power m minus n. Since it's divide, divide become minus. So, we subtract the powers. Okay. We may have power of a power, like double powers. a power m and again power n. In this case, since we have only one base, we write the base and we multiply the powers. See the difference between first and third. Here, we have two different terms. Okay. So, we add the powers. Here, we multiply the powers because we have only one base. Then, product of the power. Like you have product of two terms. A, B means A multiply B. And they can write it as A multiply B power N as well. So, in this case, what you do? This power goes to both the variables A and B. So, it becomes a power n times a b power n. Okay. Then, 
Spatial cases, what may happen is you have a and its power 0. So, any number power 0 is always 1, provided that that number should not be 0. Or you may have a negative exponent, that is a to the power minus 10. So, in simplification, we always get rid of the negative powers. So, we can write it as 1 divide a power n. Okay, let's see an example based on each of this. So, let's take an example like for product of powers. So, suppose you have say 3 power 2 times 3 power 1 or let's say 3. So, when it is written 3, it's understood that the power is 1. Okay, so now you have the base 3. The base is same, 3. Okay, so how you will write? You will write it as 3. And we by using this rule, what we'll do? Since the base is same, we write the base one time and we add the powers, which is 2 plus 1. That gives you 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 power 3. So what is it? 3 times 3 times 3. That gives you? 9 times 3 that is 27 okay so this is first example now let's take the second example like suppose if you have say x power 5 times x power 7 okay here the variable can be anything like i have used a here in the rule or b but it can be any variable or any number okay so now again we didn't put the dot or we didn't put cross. So, it's understood that it's multiplication. So, x, since base is same, it's x. Then powers, we just add the powers. 5 plus 7. So, this gives you, yes, x to the power 5 plus 7 is 12. Now, x is a variable. You cannot further simplify it. So, you stop here. Let's take another example for the second rule that is question of powers so you will get something in like division so for instance suppose you have y to the power 13 divide y to the power 9 so what you can see here you see here the base is same why okay so when base is same you write down the base one time and you subtract the power so what we will get y the base and the power, always the power of the term in numerator minus the denominator. So, in numerator you have 13 minus the denominator. So, y to the power 13 minus 9. So, yes, this will give you y to the power 4. Uh, for third rule, we can take the example as say, say x power 2. And again, the power is 5. So, power of a power. So, you have 2 times the power of a number. So, what you will say? X, in this case, you multiply these two powers. So, 2 times 5. So, it gives you X. What is 2 times 5? 10. Okay? Clear? Now, here, in this, we were having only one base and two different powers. If you look at the rule 4, you have two different bases and a single power. And what happened here? This power distributed to both the bases. So, to consider the example for this, let's say if you have x square y and power 3. Okay, so what will happen here? x square y 3. And the whole power is 3. So, this power 3 get distributed to x as well as y. So, when we write y, y means the power is 1. Similar to here. 3 means 3 power 1. Okay. So, what you will get here now? You will get x power 2 and again the power 3 and for y, it is 1 power 3. So, now you can use this rule when you have double power, power of a power. What you do? You multiply. So, it is x to the power 2 times 3 and y 
power 1 times 3. So this gives you x power 2 times 3 is 6 and y power 3. Clear? Let's take another example for this rule. Say if you have say 5 and x power 4 and this whole power 2. Yes, it's possible that one is number, another is variable. So no need to worry. It goes in the same way. So the power get distributed to both, to x as well as for 5. So it is 5 means the power is 1, current power is 1. So what you will get? 5, you can directly write 2 times 1 is 2. And x, 4 times 2 is 8. You can write it directly. Okay. So 5 times 2 is means 5 multiply 5, which gives you 25. And x power 8. You stop here. Okay. You cannot simplify it further. Now, next rule says that 0 exponent. Like if you have a as any number, its power 0, it's always 1. Like if you have say 10 power 0, the value is 1. If you have say minus 5 over 3 power 0, again the value is 1. If you say 999 9, 9, power 0, again the value becomes 1. If you say if you have 0 0.5632 power 0, so again the value becomes 1. Okay. So, as long as the number is not 0, the power becomes 1. Okay. Sorry, the power is 0, the value becomes 1. Now, negative exponent. We need it for the simplification because when we do the simplification, we avoid the negative powers. So, how you can use it is like if you have say x power minus 2 over 3. So, you can simplify it as x power minus 2. You can write it as, how you can write it as x power minus 2? 1 over x power 2. Okay. So, let's see how you can rewrite it. So, x power minus 2. You can write it as say 1 over 3 times x to the power minus 2. So, it becomes 1 over 3 and for x power minus 2, it becomes x power 2. So, it will be 1 over 3x power 2. Similarly, if you have say 5 over y power minus 5. So, in this case, you bring the negative power up. So, it is 5 y to the power 5. Okay. So, these are two examples based on the negative exponent. Let's quickly solve some questions based on it. Like if you have First example, say 3 power 0 plus 3 power 1 plus 5. So, any number power 0, the value is 1. 3 power 1 means 3 is multiplied 1 time. So, it's 3. 5 is same. So, you will get 1 plus 3 plus 5. So, how much it is? 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9. So, this will be the answer. Let's go for the second one. 2 power 3, it means 2 is multiplied 3 times. So, what it gives you? 8. 10 is same. 5 power 2, it means 5 multiplied 2 times. So, how much it gives you? 25. So, what you get here? Yes, 8 minus 10 plus 25. Now, just simplify it. So, this gives you 20. Okay, then let's take the third example. Here you have product of two terms and then a power. So this phi goes for both x and y. So you get x power 2 and power pi times y power 3 and power pi. So this gives you x power 2 times pi and y power 3 times pi. So, 2 times 5 is 10. So, x power 10. And 3 times 5 is 15. So, y power 15. 
now going for the fourth one so you see here you have the mixed term you have x y differently okay so what you will do here is first collect the x terms together and y term together so look at the y term you have y power 2 y power 3 and it's with the multiplication so you have y power 2 multiply y power 3 so when you compile these two terms what you get yes same base and in multiplication so you add the powers so you get the term y power 5 now look for x term you have x power 2 and multiply with x power 5 again same base and the terms in multiplication so what you will do you add the powers so x power 2 plus 5 that gives you x power 7 so your final answer will be y power 5 x power 7 it doesn't matter you can also write x power 7 y power 5 because the multiplication is committed let's solve this examples so in this example what you have you have division so you see the number it's only one so let it be same if you collect the x term you have x power 5 and x x power 5 divide x and then if you look at the y terms you have y power 3 and divide by y so now using the question rule for power so you have x here it is x power 5 and division is x x means power 1 so minus 1 y power is 3 and divide by y means 1 so minus 1 so this gives you 3 x power 4 y power 2 so this is the simplified expression if we move to the next example again you have to collect the terms with same base so collecting the x term directly let's do it x power 4 since it's in divide, you do minus of x. x means x power 1. Look for the y terms. y, in the numerator you have 3. Divide means again minus 2. Go for z. z means z power 1. And divide means minus Look at the z term here minus 4. So minus 4. So what this gives you? x power 4 minus 1, 3. y power 3 minus 2 is 1. And z power it is 1 minus minus. Minus minus becomes plus 4. So this gives you x power 3, y power 1, z power 5. So this is how you simplify the expressions by using exponent.